Today I wanted to talk about what has become by far my new favorite tool for finishing 3D prints that helps you get rid of layer lines in seconds. I think we can all agree that sanding is probably the least fun part of post-processing 3D printed models, but today I wanted to share with you something that makes that process a thousand times easier and faster, and that is with this. Yes, this is indeed a foot sander or callus remover, and it is by far the best sanding tool I have ever used on 3D prints. I know a lot of people, myself included, have used something like a mouse sander in terms of a more power sanding tool on 3D prints, but the problem with a mouse sander is that it can create so much friction and heat that it very easily can start to melt the PLA. With the foot sander though, I have never had that problem. It does spin, but even at its highest speed setting, it's not going so fast that it starts to create that crazy friction and heat, but it is definitely still powerful enough. It's also much smaller than a mouse sander, so it can end up getting into tighter places. It uses these adhesive sandpaper discs, which at first I thought it was going to be blowing through one like every five minutes, but I I think I've only used up four or five of these and I have used this thing for hours. Like I've sanded an entire life-size bust using this, droid parts, another helmet thing. It's been highly used so the amount of discs that I have actually used for it is incredibly low compared to what I thought. It's going to vary how many discs you go through depending on what you're sanding. Like typically I'm using this for like the initial sand so on straight PLA but if you're using it on something more like like a filler primer that's probably gonna gunk up the sandpaper more and you'll have to flip them out more frequently. So like I said, I have been using this for like the initial sand straight off of the printer. I need to do like a rough sand to start getting rid of some of these layer lines and any other imperfections. And when I tell you this thing gets rid of layer lines, it is insane. Not only does it work great on wall layer lines on the sides of prints, but I've used this thing on some pretty intense models that have really noticeable top and bottom layers where they like do that really visible step up and it completely decimates those steps and smooths it out. Now these do tend to use a pretty rough sandpaper. The discs I've been using are 80 grit and I know they come 60 grit. I'm not sure if any smoother sandpaper is available. So this is something you're going to want to be using at an earlier stage in your smoothing process because it is pretty rough. But it gets rid of layer lines so well that you might only be looking at like a two to three step process afterwards before you have a perfectly smooth piece that's ready to to be painted. So that's my prop making tip for the day. Wanted to save all of your arms some trouble. I would love to know if any of you have more unusual tools that you now cannot live without using for any prop building, but that is everything. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.